Hello everyone, Trophy Hunter here, and today I have a little tutorial on how to make a panorama in Fallout 4. Alright, so when you download the stuff inside the mod on the mod page, you're gonna get a folder that looks like this. It's called Making Panoramas. Open it, and inside there's gonna be a folder called AHK Script. This is the script that I made that allows you to move the camera at precise movements instead of just using the mouse to look around it moves the mouse for you and this is the script in its entirety it's not a long script it's very short it just hooks the keyboard and the mouse and there's a couple of application hotkeys there's F5 that suspends the application which will disable all the hotkeys and F6 terminates it and here is what I've done with the key bindings there's four keys they use numpad 8, 2, 4, and 6 and they basically correlate to a direction so if you hit numpad 8 it'll go up by about 40 degrees 40-ish degrees plus or minus 10 degrees all right, so you can change these values as you probably will need to for your setup. Mine, I have it go 199, I believe these are pixels. These are indeed pixels, is how much it moves the mouse by, I'll show you. So now it's running. We just go on the black background so you can see the mouse, it's down down here by Susan's feet. So let's say I want to move to the left. I'll hit the four, it'll move to the left. I want to move, say again, hit it again. And now let's move back, so six, six, and then let's go up a couple, so eight, eight. Now it's by our head, down one. Let's go to the left again, four. So this basically will be what happens in the game. And it makes taking panoramas very, very easy. It's set up to take 16 screenshots in a circle, in a single pivot, a hunt, or 360 degrees around. Now, I made the up and down so that you can reliably say you take your 16 pictures in a circle. And say you want some more information. Let's say, let me get my one I made. Let's say you want more sky information. So you just go maybe up one or even two maybe. If you want to do that you would have to freeze the game and I'll show you how to do that so that no clouds or anything will move. But yeah you just go up a couple times maybe just one or two and you take another 16 and then you go down four times so that you can get it back to where it was and then two more times down so that you can get some more information below if you want you don't have to it will cause a little bit more distortion in like down here obviously with perspective and such like the FOV in the game is gonna matter as well but basically your sensitivity that you have set in Fallout 4 in the game settings mouse sensitivity will change these values mine is 199 and it's not ex it's not like perfect where I look at something with a gun press it 16 times and then when I look down the sights again it won't be exactly where it was but it's about maybe th five degrees off which is it's, it's fine it's fine it captures the panorama and that's fine most usually panoramas aren't even uh, 360 degrees they're only maybe a hundred maybe larger maybe like 180 maybe but yeah, this, this allows you to capture 360 degrees, no problem. 
So now let me show you how it works and then how to make the panoramas. I'm using Photoshop. If you have GIMP or something, try to use that. I doubt you can. I don't know. I don't, I don't use GIMP. So I use Photoshop. So I'm just going to open up Photoshop really fast. Get that ready. Also, another very important thing is obviously you need auto hotkey installed on your computer. So this does require auto hotkey be installed. I could compile that auto hotkey script, this hot auto hotkey script into an exe, but it wouldn't really be useful because you wouldn't be able to change these values quickly to what you need, and that's why I left it like this. Also, all the hotkeys can be changed, but I prefer the numpad. Just makes it easy. Also, I recommend you having ENB and reshade installed for Fallout so that you can capture the high quality screenshots. I use Reshade to capture them. The ENB takes lower quality ones. Also, if you have Reshade and ENB in your Fallout game, use the Reshade one because it the way it works is Fallout's rendered and then ENB renders over that, if you will, and then Reshade renders over that. Okay? That's how it works. And then that gets displayed to your monitor. And then reshade right before sends it to your monitor. It'll capture the picture. So that's that. Now for you NVIDIA people, this will be simple. I don't know if AMD video cards have this ability, but you need to enable DSR. What that is, it just allows you to run the game at four times the native resolution so I'm able to run the game at 5120 by 2880 which is 5k okay now that's required because the screenshots I need to take need to be that high resolution or Photoshop doesn't know how to align the images properly so it needs to be high resolution if you have a 1080p monitor 4K should be fine, but I am I haven't tested it. So once you have DSR enabled at four times that, you want to go to Fallout 4, hit play. Don't know why it did that. Okay, you want to make sure that <clears throat> you are not borderless or not in windowed mode, so that you can use your DSR value. It should show up here. So that's all set. And I'm just going to run it through the script extender. You don't have to. It's just something I like. So the script is running. Everything is all good. That's all set. All right. Now we're going to go into the game. Alright, so found the spot. Now what you want to do is freeze everyone. So you gotta type, well, back to the body. EFC space one. This freezes everybody. And everything. Mostly. Closer up on some people. All right. Now what we have to do is toggle the menu off. So hit T M, and then hit tilde key after you press enter. Now this is where the script comes in. I'm gonna start. I'll just start from looking at these things here. I'll start from. print screen which is the hotkey I have set for reshade to take screen charts so press that there we go and I'm gonna 
to go to the right in the rotation. I think that's it. Alright, so now I'm just going to alt F4 the game. Desktop. Alright, now let's go through those screens. Looking for the ones I took at 8. One complete circle. All right. Now with these, what you have to do is open Photoshop, File, Automate, and then go to Photo Merge. And go Browse. Go to your Fallout directory. And shift click all these guys in here and hit OK. And now this process is going to take a little bit of time. Especially if you have a lot of detail. And once you're done, it should look hopefully something like this. And this is okay. This is what we want, actually. So you see how it repeats a little bit on the side here? We have to decide on where we want to cut this. Since the edge here is repeated over here, I'm just going to get rid of it. And I think the best place to do that is around here. But first, what I want to do is lens, do some lens correction on this. So make a new layer. Hit Shift, Control, Alt, E, which it makes a stamp visible layer. Now we can just disable all these. Go Filter, Lens Correction. Load that in. Go Custom. And usually... A value of about plus nineteen ish. Nineteen seems to be the best value. Eighteen or nineteen. Hit OK. And now here's where we have to crop. Make sure the cropping is unconstrained. And we're gonna have to crop it on this side where this one is. Well, not exactly where it is, but we have a little bit of room to play actually. So I see over here 
I'm gonna crop it on this line right here, where where this beam meets this cylindrical hose here. I'm gonna crop it right there on this side. I'm gonna take it, zoom out so I can see. It's a good idea. Right about there on that side. Make sure delete crop pixels is also in tick so you can change it if you need to later. And on this side, we'll put it right, right there. Hit the check. And there you go. Panorama. All right, so to fix these little white gaps we have, it's very, very simple to do. We're just gonna have to use a clone stamp. So make a new layer above this layer and just start clone stamping. So for like this bus, take this a little bit up here. And just do this until all the little bit of white spaces are gone. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, and once you've done all your clone stamping, you should have something that looks like this. It's a nice whole image. So basically with this, you can just do whatever you want with it. Add your Photoshopping knowledge to it. Do some style stylizing as I probably would. And then I guess upload it to Flickr or wherever else. Um, I noticed that you can't upload these directly to the Nexus. It does not like this aspect ratio, but that's how to create a panorama in Fallout. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.